The OnePlus 5 is over a year old now, while the 5T also has the 2017 tag on it. But if you have bought either of these two phones, there is a good news for you. OnePlus recently announced that it would offer software updates for its devices for two years after launch with an extended year of Android security patches. Today, OnePlus has released the latest open beta version for its 2017 phones, the OnePlus 5 and the 5T. The slightly older OnePlus 5 gets OxygenOS Open Beta 13 while the OnePlus 5T gets OxygenOS Open Beta 11. If you are already on the Open Beta program for these two phones, you will get an OTA update to put you onto the new versions. If you are on the stable software path and want to try out the Open Betas, the steps are slightly more complicated and can be found on the OnePlus forums. The key addition in these two updates is the inclusion of Project Tribble. This has been something that OnePlus users have been asking for and OnePlus has finally found a way to roll out Project Tribble to its 2017 phones. Project Tribble makes it easier for manufacturers to roll out certain software updates by creating a layer of separation between manufacturer's UI and hardware code and Google's Android OS code. This will help manufacturers roll out major software updates easily. Now first let me show you that my OnePlus 5 supports Project Treble, which means now I'll be receiving the OS updates more frequently. Apart from this, there are big changes in the user interface, more accent color customization, improved search tag in the app drawer, a new install category in the app drawer, more on that in the later part of the video. Starting with the system UI, this time OnePlus has done some major changes like redesigned notification panel and tiles, which looks really minimal. And I would say it looks even better than the notification panel of Android P. If you go to the setting menu, here you will see the same design language. The setting icons are quite minimal and they look stunning. Additionally, if you go to display settings, then accent color, here you will find a new option which is basically a color palette. And now you have option to choose the color accent according to your liking. And OnePlus users were asking for this feature from a while including me. So it's really nice to see this feature. Moving forward to launcher, OnePlus has done some minor tweaks this time. Like they have improved the search tag in the app drawer. And now you also get a new install category tab which will showcase the newly installed apps. And they have also improved app list for hidden space and toolbar which I haven't tested yet. In this update, you will also get this new power menu which has this sliding mechanism for power off and reboot and it's pretty cool. If we talk about the camera app which is also different from the stable oxygen OS that we get in OnePlus 5 and 5T. If we swipe up in the camera app, here you will see that now the Google Lens option is integrated inside the camera app and it's very convenient for those who use this feature frequently and I'm one of them. Google Lens uses your smartphone's camera and identifies what it sees using AI, offering up more information when available like details on landmark you are looking at. Using the app feels a bit futuristic and it can prove useful in many situations when you want more information on restaurants, drink, recipe, tourist attraction, clothes and decor shopping and more. Now, if we have a look at the change log for this update, it also says that there are some redesigned with improved user interface for the weather app, but frankly, I didn't find any major change. So guys, that's it for this video. If you find this video useful, then do let me know that in the comment section and also let me know if I had missed anything. And for more future videos like this, do consider subscribing and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any future video from Extreme Droid. So this is Samir signing off and I'll see you guys in my next one.